What's going on, Bears fans? Come back at you another edition of Bear Down Forever. Um, I know I missed a lot of stuff yesterday. I was traveling, so please forgive me. But I'm sure y'all know that the uh, Bears um, made, did some more stuff. But before I get into that, um, Bears CEO Ted Phillips is going to retire at the end of the season. So I know a lot of people are happy about that. A lot of people have been clamoring for him to retire. You know, years ago, he's been there for, what, 40, 40 seasons? It's, it's been a long time, you know. It seemed like 40 seasons, but the 39 and all. Um, so 39 years and all with, with the team. So he's um, he's been there for quite a while. And um, so he's probably, yeah, he's going to, uh, it says, tell, Brad Biggs tweeted, Bears president and CEO Ted Phillips will retire after 40 years with the club in February. Until then, he's at the forefront of the club's efforts to land new stadium in Arlington Heights. So, um, um he tweet he um gave Dan Pompey the um the credit in the in, in breaking the story. So, um, so yeah, so he's gonna handle the business with the Arlington Heights situation. And I mean, it's it's it, that that's a done deal too. I mean, it's like the the field situation is. It's, yeah, they're so, so leaving Chicago. I mean, I'd be surprised if anything happens to make them stay in Soldier Field, you know. So, it's, um, so it's, um, I know it's a lot. It's a joyful day for a lot of Paris fans out there because, you know, a lot of people did not like Ted Phillips. I mean, I, I'm i not going to say that um, I'm a fan because I don't, I just, I mean, I, I don't I don't know how he stayed around so long. He must he must have something in the family. Damn, it's just my opinion. I shouldn't say stuff like that. But <laughs> but I mean it's it's um it's a lot. I mean he, he what I, I can't think of I, I don't know, but anywho, you know, Ryan Poles and um Ian Cunningham had a really good press conference yesterday and they spoke fairly highly on Tevin Jenkins and um and Braxton Jones and and they believe that they can um that um Alex Leatherwood can come in and and compete and be a competitor and and, and grow and and learn in under under this regime and and I, I liked Alex Leatherwood as well I think that um he's I, I thought last year he was a good player and everything. I didn't think that he was going to go in the first round like 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 the Raiders took him, but uh, I, I must say I was su surprised. But I'm glad, I'm glad that um, the Bears did pick him up. Uh, I didn't think they were going to claim him because of his rookie contract, but because the Raiders have already paid out more than half of the contract to him, it's it's a, and the Bears do have the money. But that being said. That's probably going to give Roquan a little more ammunition. Like, hey, you paying this guy, and he hasn't been here. So, you know, I mean, of course, he's not making nowhere near what Roquan is looking for. But, you know, I'm just saying. So, um, the, the Bears are very busy on the waiver wire, as you guys already know. But um, um, I think that the Armin Watts signing was, was really good. They got a player who could come in, who excelled at this defense in, in, in this defense last season and I think that he's gonna come in with um he's probably gonna have a chip on the shoulder because he was already in the division in Minnesota and he was um he was released like it seemed like he was um gonna be the starter in Minnesota and then he got released on you know so I mean that's that's something to see. But um Ryan Poe spoke about that as well. He said that they assigned their scouts to to each to to they had different scouts assigned to the teams and they they did it like like the scouts were GMs and like who they were gonna look look for and they didn't think that he would be available but once he did they they scrambled and watched a bunch of his film was like yeah we gotta get this guy in here and they signed um wide receiver Amir Smith Marset also from um from Minnesota who uh he had a good game against the Bears last season kind of his breakout game He's a fast guy, but um, once they got Jalen Rager in Minnesota, he was the odd man out. His role would have diminished, but, you know, the Bears do have some injuries at receiver, and their receiver core is – they don't have like a – I'm not going to say talent because I, I believe they have talent. I think they have a talented receiver core, but they're just not proven is, is the word I choose to use. So, and plus, like I said, they have some injuries. 
So um so yeah so he's gonna come and compete. He's fast. He's he's all and that's another thing. What polls is sticking to his guns. He he's bringing in a player who has um special teams capabilities as well. It's like he he has an mo and he's definitely sticking to it. It's like the majority of these um um, um skill position players, excuse me, have ability to play special teams as well. So Ryan Poles is on top of things, and um, I, I'm I'm liking what he's doing. I'm really liking what he's doing, and um, and Sterling Weatherford. I, I like Sterling Weatherford coming out of the draft um, as a safety, and again, you know, um, there's been a lot of players that come out and switch from safety and play linebacker and had success. I'm not saying he's going to be one of those guys, but he's a fast guy. He can tackle. He can roam. He knows how to. Um, he's good. He'd be good in coverage, so he'll be good, especially in um some zone stuff and special teams as well. So you get down there and um put a hat on somebody. So, so yeah, the um the Bears they did bring in another tight end because they only had two on the roster, and so they definitely they need a third. So it's it's looking good. I I like the way I like I really like what they're doing with this team. I'm excited about um, the first game of the season to see what's going to happen and see our Bears out there playing, you know, in games that actually count. So, yeah, so y'all know. So I, um, I, I'm not surprised that Duke Shelley got released. I was more surprised that he made the initial 53, and it's nothing against Duke Shelley, but I just don't think that, he was kind of fitting into what they were trying to do here. So once they released him and they, they brought in um, Josh Blackwell, I was like, okay, cool. But the only difference with that is um, Josh Blackwell is a, is a guy with that a young guy with um, inexperience. And I thought they would go bring in like a veteran or something or, or something. Or Thomas Graham. Thomas Graham, I mean, I don't know what his injury is. But or, or how close he is to coming back, but I really would love to see him back on the fifty three at some point because I I think Thomas Graham is he's a baller. I mean when he when I saw him when he put, saw him out there, I really I really think he's a baller. I think he he, he got some um he got something to to prove and and I know he's not happy because he called not making the fifty three last season. He called it a failure, and I mean, he's very hard on himself. So I know he's ready. So so um. Jaquan Brisker returned to practice yesterday, and um, they're trying to get um, Lucas Patrick ready for game one. If he's not ready, of course, Mustafa will get the start, and we're going to see from there. We're going to see where um, Alex Leatherwood is going to fit in. Um, he was practicing yesterday. He was practicing at right tackle, and they're going to see what they can do. Um, of course, he doesn't know the system yet because yesterday was his first day, so Hey, you know, but yeah, so I'm glad to be back home. Um, I had a great trip, but um, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, you know, because y'all bear fans, y'all know bear fans, so come check out this bear fan, and um, I'm going to keep y'all up to date with everything when it drops. I'm going to try, try, and, try and be there. Like I said, I was traveling. That's why I'm just hitting y'all with some of this late stuff, but yeah, so Ted Phillips set to retire at the end of the season, so Give a give us a like, cause if you like that, then drop a like, hit hit, hit them on the, on this video, leave a comment, say what's up, ask me a question, anything, it's all good. So um, all right, y'all, I'm out of here. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart for spending time with me, and um, I'll be back with y'all again real soon. All right, you know. So football season is is rare, it's revving up, y'all. So we are gonna be to it. All right, y'all, take care, take care. I'm out of here.